I really hope that Missy Elliott never sees this video because that would just make me feel bad. Might even cry a little. Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted Today. We're checking out another instrument from South Asia. It is the... Tumbi. Oh no, the tassel's already come off. What's a tumbi without a tassel? He says like he's ever used a tumbi before. According to the website, it's meant to be tied to this bit here, but I'm, I'm really not sure how it's meant to stay on there. For now, it's just gonna be a swanky bracelet. The tumbi is a traditional musical instrument from the Punjab region of the Northern Indian subcontinent. Totally didn't just steal that line from Wikipedia. And it's another one stringed instrument, kind of like the Gopi Chund, which we checked out a few weeks ago. And the build is pretty simple. It's literally just made of a wooden stick attached to a gourd resonator with a single metallic string going up to the tuning peg. And that's it. Also like the Gopi Chund, apparently this instrument is very easy to learn how to play. So by the end of this video, I expect to be a tumbi master. Who am I kidding? I'll always be an amateur. When I bought this tumbi, I was pretty sure that I had never heard this instrument being played before, but it turns out it was actually used in Missy Elliott's 2001 classic, Get Your Freak On, which I listened to quite a lot when I was a kid. Don't copyright strike me, don't copyright strike me. Damn, I forgot that song was an absolute banger. It was also used in Beware of Boys by Punjabi MC, which was a massive hit here in the UK in the late 90s. I am really showing my age in this video. <laughs> oh, I'm nearly 30. So as you would expect, this instrument is quite easy to play. You just need to run your finger down the neck to change the note, just like a guitar, just with no frets. And then to make a sound, you just flick the string with your index finger. I know I said it's simple, but somehow I still suck at it. <laughs> If it wasn't obvious by that ludicrous display of musical talent, this is my first time playing this instrument. Honestly, the only thing that I want to get out of this video is to be able to play Get Your Freak On. And if I can do that by the end of this video, I'm going to be happy. It may take a few hours, it may take a few days, but by the end of this video, I'm going to know it. Definitely not just going to give up after half an hour. Well, oh, definitely gents. If you want to get a note out of this thing, you really need to push down hard on the string. If you push down with just your finger, or at least with a kind of chubby finger like mine, you just get a bit of a muted and deadened sound. Doesn't sound all that great. But if you push down with a harder surface like your nail, sounds a lot sharper. Okay, I think the main problem that I'm having here is that I suck at plucking this thing with my finger. Do you think I can get away with using a plectrum? Well, it's a lot louder, but it's a lot harder to hold. You lose a lot of stability when you take your hand away from the neck to use a plectrum. You have to use your left hand a lot more to try and keep this thing stable and it's not easy. Do you think I could get away with using a strap? Thanks. Hmm. Now a big problem that I've noticed with this instrument is that the tuning peg does have a tendency to just come loose and then your string just goes, which is uh, a bit annoying. But from what I can see online, it's not the fault of this particular make of tumbi, just all tumbies are like that. Luckily this thing is such a simple instrument, it's not hard to rectify, but can just be a bit annoying when you're playing. Very hard to get precise tuning on this thing. From what I can tell, it's literally just two notes, but I'm having trouble working out what those two notes actually are. It's not like I can just go online and find some tumbi tabs, because that's not a thing. What if there's guitar tabs for this thing? Would that do it? Aha, found one. Now, can I tune this thing to G? Too high, way too low, way too high, too high. Oh my God, this thing is so hard to tune. Oh, it's so close. Come off it. Way too much, damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Close enough. That was a real test of my patience. Now the really hard part is gonna be trying to translate guitar tabs onto this thing, because as we mentioned earlier, this thing doesn't have frets. So all we need is 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, five. That's just three notes. Surely we can pull that off. What are the chances this thing's already untuned just by standing up? Ooh, ooh. 
I think it's already untuned itself. That sounds all kinds of wrong. That's near, near there. That's about, that's about where we need it. So then I need to then push in the peg. That's, that's still too low. Okay. Too tuned. Too high. No, it's getting worse. And I completely lost the tuning. We just call it a jank cover and leave it at that. That was an embarrassing attempt at doing my childhood justice. And I really hope that Missy Elliott never sees this video because that would just make me feel bad. Might even cry a little. The tuning peg is really the Tumbi's main flaw. You really can't tune this thing precisely. You kind of just have to turn it and really just hope it lands on the note that you want. And then once you've tuned it to the note that you desire, it then has a tendency to untune itself as you play it, which means you're going to have to constantly be tuning this thing every single time you play it. Now, I'm sure it's not the case with every single Tumbi out there. I'm sure there are some which are particularly well made and you don't have that issue. But from what I can see online, a lot of people tend to have that issue and it just seems to be a common thing with this instrument. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this strap off because I'm very well aware that it looks very, very stupid. But apart from that, I quite like the Tumbi. It's got a very unique sound. It's very upbeat. When you hear someone playing this instrument well, you can't help but just have a little bit of a jig because it just sounds so fun. All in all, it's a unique instrument and I've really enjoyed my time with it. So if you're out there looking for a new instrument to sink your teeth into, why not give this thing a go? And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe we've got more videos on the way you can also follow us on our social pages if you want to support the channel further check out the link in the description to our patreon page and you can also join us on our discord server we'll see you guys in the next one have a good one